One of my friends on the YouTube channel who watches the channel sent me a link to a video saying, check out this. Look at this new boron battery in this electric car in Turkey. Well, my friends, this is another clickbait YouTube video. It does not have a boron battery, but let's actually have a look at this electric car because apparently there are 23,000 reservations that have been made within the space of two days for this EV. And this company plans on selling this EV, not just in Turkey, but in many countries around the world because it's owned by a bunch of really rich dudes who believe that you'll be sucked into buying this special boron battery powered EV. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. The first TOG T10X was just delivered to Turkey's president. Now, I always see red flags when I hear this kind of thing. It was delivered to Turkey's president before anyone else. Well, why was that? Because the company is part owned by Turkey. Now, the TOG T10X has apparently got 177,400 pre-orders now in less than a month. Two days, it got more than 20,000. Less than a month, 177,400. Now, are there really 178,000 Turkish well-heeled buyers with this much money to spend on a new electric car in Turkey? Maybe. I spent a bit of time in Turkey and I didn't see all these millionaires, but maybe they exist. It's possible. Production and deliveries of Turkey's all-electric TOG T10X just kicked off and the keys to the very first example have been handed over to the president. What is this car? Well, Turkey has been working on its own homegrown electric vehicle project for quite some time. And President Erdogan noted that his office placed the first order for the T10X back in 2019. There was rumors that it would have a so-called boron battery. It does not. It has a lithium ion battery. Now, the Turkish government claims that it has a significant advantage versus other countries around the world because it is able to extract lithium in the boron process. While the price of lithium was 1,911 US dollars per ton in 2010, it declined to $137 in 2020. However, there's been an eight and a half times decrease in the price of lithium over the last 10 years. And this drop in prices accelerated the conversion of many technological tools to lithium. So how does this tie in to boron? Well, there are clays containing 0.2% lithium in our boron reserves in Turkey, said Turkish miners. We are talking about a very important lithium source when we consider the amount of these boron reserves. Turkey's new approach is an important step, said Itai Maiden, a private company that converts Turkish boron ore to lithium after it opened its lithium carbonate production facility at the end of December 2020. The facility, which was built as a result of 100% domestic research and development, will produce lithium from the liquid waste generated during the production of refined boron and it will initially produce 10 tons per year. However, it plans on ramping up to 600 tons. Basically, what this means is that this Turkish electric vehicle manufacturer will have access, no matter what, to cheap, affordable lithium supplies for its batteries. And it's working with Chinese electric battery manufacturer called Ferasus Energy. Now, how is this even relevant why does this matter? Well, actually, it does matter. Frasers have built or are building right now a 20 gigawatt hour battery factory for TOG, this electric car company, in Turkey using incredibly high energy density batteries with around 320 watts per kilogram energy density. Frasus actually unveiled the fourth generation of its lithium battery cells in March of 2021. These, they say, achieve an energy density of up to 330 watts per kilo, which is an amazing energy density and an increase of 25% over their previous batteries. Now, to give you an idea, this is very high energy density. The average energy density of batteries used in EVs right now is around 220 watts per kilo. So we're looking at a 50% increase over those numbers. Now, are we therefore seeing massive range out of these new TOG EVs? 
Well, no, not really. The first version of the TOG T10X SUV to reach the hands of customers has a single rear-mounted electric motor that produces 218 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. That's 350 newton meters. Customers can then choose between two different size battery packs that offer 195 miles in the smaller battery pack, that's 314 kilometers, and 325 miles or 523 kilometers of range in the bigger pack. Both models will apparently hit 100 kilometers an hour, which is 62 miles an hour in 7.4 seconds. However, arriving in October of this year, there'll be a more powerful version. It has two electric motors, so it's all wheel drive. It has 435 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque. That's 700 newton meters. It'll hit 62 miles an hour in 4.8 seconds. Its battery can be charged from 20% to 80% in 30 minutes, meaning it's probably got around about 150 to 170 kilowatt charging speed. But as you can see, the ranges of these cars are very good, just not earth shatteringly long. So are these good cars? Could be, I don't know. I haven't seen any global media actually test drive them yet. I don't know if they really have 178,000 pre-orders. I'm, I'm gonna say probably not. That seems a bit ridiculous, but you never know. It is possible. But to give you some context on how many cars are sold per year in Turkey, in 2020, around 770,000 vehicles were sold for the entire year. So yes, sure, it may be possible, but sitting electric cars make up only around 1% of the Turkish car market today. It doesn't seem that likely. Now, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully this EV sells incredibly well and it does really, really successfully, not only in Turkey, but all through the Middle East, through Asia. Of course, Turkey is the one country in the world that is partly in Asia, partly in the Middle East. And seeing electric cars take off in that area would be fantastic news. So I really hope they succeed. Let me know what your thoughts are on this car. It reminds me a little bit of a Mercedes for some reason. Am I wrong? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.